friends, today I want to speak to you about the parliament elections and its aftermath. You will recall that we have had a very tense and heated campaign for about one and a half months. A lot of predictions were made, exit polls suggested something and then the results came defying the predictions and the exit polls. However, this is one election where everyone, every party seem to be celebrating their success. The opposition alliance made impressive gains. The number of Congress party in the parliament was doubled and they were happy that they could bring down the absolute majority of Bharatiya Janata Party. BJP was celebrating because they were enjoying a historic third consecutive term in the office since 1962. And if the current Prime Minister continues till the end of the term, which he will, then he would be the record-breaking Prime Minister in office. There were quite a few firsts also in this election. For the first time, BJP opened its account in Kerala by winning a seat in the parliament. Since independence, of course, since BJP came into its independent political existence, it never had any representation from Kerala. In the East, again for the first time, BJP formed the government in Orissa on its own. I am speaking, in fact, the, um, the celebration, the road show in Orissa is taking place and the swearing-in will be happening in the uh, Janata Maidan in Bhubaneshwar. So this has been uh, the a satisfactory elections from many accounts. The satisfactory result of the election for many. Those who were critical of the ramrod approach of BJP, the kind of so-called authoritarian tendencies of BJP, now would be happy that BJP will run a coalition government. They have 32 sort of majority, so they will have to lead a coalition, a coalition of, of about 15 political parties. And as the Prime Minister said, he would be building consensus in the country. So that's a good sign. The stakes are high, challenges are many. So I think the whole country, entire political leadership and political fraternity, should come together and think of governing the country. The opposition also has a critical role in the governance of the country. Someone said, you protest in poetry, but you govern in prose, which means that when you govern, you will have to be pragmatic, encountering several challenges. As the swearing in of the new government was taking place, there was a shocking and unfortunate incident in Jammu where there was a, a terrorist attack on a, a pilgrim's convoy and uh, at least 10 people were killed, which was shocking. And at the same time, China and Pakistan issued a joint statement, they have done it before, on Kashmir, saying that India could not take unilateral decisions. These are challenges. Honorable Prime Minister told the Russian president that this is no time for war. But what we witness is wars and conflicts all around. There are two very devastating wars taking place in Ukraine and Gaza. And there are also skirmishes and bloody uh, conflicts elsewhere. So how do we end violence and bring the country is back to dialogue and negotiation. That is also a challenge. So the country 
Aadhi has its own aspiration, India, a rising country, a rising economy. The whole country has to pull together to be able to play a significant role in world affairs. So the excitement of election is over, the tensions decrease, the divides that uh, take place during the election, they are all over. Many democratic elections these days are quite exciting and quite competitive. So be there. But after the elections, the country has to sit back and leadership has to work in unity to take the country towards progress. And the citizens have to rally behind their leaders and demand that uh, sanity and uh, sanctity prevail and, and the country is taken forward in peace and prosperity. Thank you.